If you want to know how to make a hand to GUI for your Roblox games, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. In this tutorial, we will be making a hand to system. So basically, um, you can hold a tool, you can press G or type explanation mark give in chat, a GUI will pop up, um, you can type the player name in, and what will happen, once you type that in, uh, a, a button with confirm will pop up, and if you press that, the other player you put in will get that tool and yours will be removed. Um, things like bakeries, cafes, restaurants, globally on Roblox, use it. Not tycoons, but you get my point. Um, so yeah, basically that. So if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to do that right now. Make sure to hit that bell, turn on notifications. If you like this video, give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Um, because it really gives me honest feedback on what I have to change on my videos. So basically that, and uh, if you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below. And that is enough talking. So we should be um, going ahead and m uh, make the system itself. It is not really complex. We're going to be using one remote event, but everything's going to go all right. All right. So where was I? We're going to be creating the hand to system. So basically, uh, you need a tool. So you go to start a pack. You add in a tool. You can name it wherever you want. I'm just going to call it the tool. Just a testing tool. Why not? It doesn't really matter what you call it you're gonna give it to someone else anyways so you want to go add in gui and start your gui you're gonna rename it to the hand two like that hand two you want to add in a string value you want to rename that to player name we're gonna be putting that on there you're gonna you're gonna notice next of all we're gonna be creating a frame we're gonna give it a cool color we're gonna be giving uh, 119 by 200 by 217 you can do it custom, but I'm just going to do this. The anchor point, make sure to set it to 0 0.5, comma, uh, that's incorrect. 0 0.5, comma, 0 0.5. And it should be a little bit offset, but don't worry. Go to position and type in 0 0.5, comma, 0, comma, 0 0.5, comma, 0. And it should be in the middle. Well, no matter what, it should be in the middle. Or in the center. So change the position to 500 by 50. Look like a bar. Now you want to add in a UI corner. You want to add in a UI aspect ratio constraint. And you want to give it a value of 10. Like that. Now you want to add in a, a text box. Like that. Uh, change the transparency to 1. And give it the size 1, 0, 1, 0. Go down. Remove this text. Go over here, click black, ok, uh, okay, and you just want to put in player name here, dot, 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 and you're going to see that. Now put a text skilled and put it as source, uh, you can do Gotham Black, I think. I don't know, but we're going to go for source sans, source, there we go, okay, so that is really cool. Now you want to uh, rename that to input. So input. Now make a text button and call it uh, confirm and add in a UI corner in it. Now make it uh, green, but there's a specific, specific color for that. So we're going to go 126. How about 101? Uh, so we're going to 126 by 181. By one, two, three. So you get this greenish color, you know? Put it a little bit up. There we go. So now the value, uh, I mean the size, is gonna be one comma zero comma one comma zero. So it covers the entire thing up. Make it to make sure to give it this index of two. And uh, yeah, you just wanna put confirm as the text, like confirm question mark. Now duplicate this, remove the UI corner. And rename it to uh, exit boom and you just want to put the position minus 50 so it's above it and the size yeah 0 comma 50 comma 0 comma 50 doesn't really matter make sure to do the background transparency one 
and give it a red color for an X. So this is your GUI completely done, yes. Now add in a remote event and replicate it to storage. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it the hand to sender. We're going to be going into here. We're going to insert a local script. And we're going to be calling it the executor. Uh, now we're going to be typing cool code. And we're just going to go immediately in one go. So you just make the follow and you're going to be good. So you can do local input is because the script parent the frame that input is. Now for the player, we're going to do local player is because the game that players that local player is. Now you can do input dot focus lost. So if you type enter or you click away, it's going to go trigger that. So connect function nothing. Now we can do game that replicated storage that hand to sender dot colon fire server with the input dot text and the check player. Make sure to do it like this. Now type game dot replicated storage dot remote event. I am absolutely sorry. It's the hand to sender. Hand to sender dot on client event colon connect function. I'm going to do argument and reason. Now we can do if reason is equals equals to set GUI, then script that parent that player name dot value is it's the argument and PLR dot player GUI dot hand to dot frame dot confirm dot visible is it's to true. So what we're going to be doing uh, set GUI in the other script will be like sending that if the player name is correct. Now we're going to script the parent dot frame dot mouse button one click. Nope. Confirm dot mouse button one click. Call a connect function. So we're going to be making a function out of that. Now we're going to do local val. Uh, and we're going to be doing script dot parent dot player name dot value. So we're referring to the player name here, the string value. Now we're going to do script dot parent dot frame dot confirm that the visible is equal to false. We're going to turn it off. We're going to turn the entire frame off. And we're going to be resetting everything. Or no, we're not gonna. We're gonna do input.txt is equal to nothing. We can do local tool is equal to plr.character colon find first child of class. Um, and we're gonna be doing tool. If you have a model, you're not you're not gonna be allowed to give it, you know. Now we can do game the replicated storage that remote event. If I say remote event is to hand to server sender. We can do fire server. We're gonna be firing the val, the gift tool argument, and the tool itself. Now we can do script the parent that frame that exit that mouse button one click colon connect function. And basically, all you want to do is you just want to copy this. But you want to change some things because you want to delete this and type val. Val is equals to nothing. And we're not going to be sending this. We're going to be sending exit unequipped tools. We're going to be sending that. You got it? Yes, you do. You're smart. So now you're almost done with the local script. We're going to be doing one thing, and that is give you a notification if you um, get an item. So we're going to be doing game dot replicate storage dot hand to sender dot on client event clock and act function. We're going to be doing P, A, and tool name. Now we can do if A, the argument, is equals equals to send notification. I'm going to zoom in. Then, so if it is a notification, then we're going to do game that starts your GUI, call a set core. I want to set the core to send notification, comma. I want to make curved brackets. You want to press enter over here. Title is equals to tool name, that name. We're going to do text is equal to p dot name the dot gave you a tool. And we're going to do the duration is we're going to be doing a five second duration. So this is everything for your local script uh, done. So that is, of course, really, really cool. 
Now, since we're done with uh, this, we're going to be continuing on the server. So, you want to make a script and server script service. And uh, you just want to name it the hand to server. Alrighty, I'm going to copy this. Boom. Okay. So, this is not hard. So, you just want to do local D is equal to true. You want to do game the player is the player added comma connect function player and then if nope player dot chatted colon connect function m if m is equals equals to give then we're gonna be doing game dot replicated storage dot remote events hand to sender colon fire client we're going to do player and server chat enabled. Next up, game dot replicated storage dot hand to sender dot on server event colon connect function x argument and arg like that. If arg is equals to equals to check player, then for underscore v in pairs game the players colon get players do so we're looping through the entire um things if string dot lower v dot name is equals equals to string dot lower argument <coughs> then sorry so now the player matches so we can do game replicated storage dot hand to sender colon fire client we're gonna fire it to the X. We're gonna fire the player name and set GUI. Now, game dot replicated storage dot hand to sender dot on server event colon connect function X and argument. If argument is equals equals to exit unequal tools. So if it is the argument on exit unequip tools so that means we're going to unequip every tool so we're going to do character x dot character dot humanoid colon unequip tools there we go now the longest script and that is a game that replicated storage dot hand to sender dot colon connect dot on server even colon connect function x val check and tool x val check tool make sure to put that in enter if check is equals equals to give tool then if tool is equals equals to nail then return end now we can do local tool is equals to tool colon clone we can be cloning the older tool for i comma v in pairs game dot players colon get players do we're gonna be looping again through players. We can do if string dot lower v dot name is equals equals to string dot lower. We're gonna be doing. Let me see. We're gonna be doing that on val that name I think. Oh no, just val. Then now we're gonna make a pcal function in case the player leaves and there's not gonna be no errors. Now we can do tool the parent is equals to v colon wait for child backpack now we can do tool colon destroy and game the replicated storage that hand to sender colon fire client v x send notification tool that's where you want to pass in now go down and add in a script into here this is going to be the user input service so local user input service is equal to game colon get service user input service local player player is equal to game the player is dot local player colon wait for child player gui local char is equal to script apparent Local D is equal to true, and local hand to is equal to PLR dot hand to dot frame. So now UIS user input service that input begun 
uh, comma connect function and we're just gonna do k and g if g then if g then return end and if key if k dot key code is equals equals to enum dot key code dot g a e and char comma find first child of class tool so if you uh press g and you have a tool then hand to dot visible is equal to not hand to dot visible and for the last five lines of code game that replicated storage dot hand to server sender dot on client event comma connect function a if a is equals equals to server chat enabled and charcoal on find first child of class tool then do this and you're done that's how easy it is now we can um test this out yes So now we're in the game, we're going to hold the tool, we're going to press J, well, G, as you can see, it works, but this is not supposed to work, okay, that's weird, now we can do, if, if I just put, um, hello, lol, it's not going to do anything, so now, if we type our actual name, you don't have to put capitalized letters, if we just put newbie derpy dev, and click away, uh, it should work, oh, never mind, I, newbie derpy dev and i click away the game knows okay it works we're gonna click confirm we get another tool and we get a notification that we got a tool so that's basically everything and i'm just gonna for testing purposes i'm just gonna put a confirm boom all right all right so now we're in the game we press one we press g Newbie, derpy, dev. We're just gonna give ourselves confirm. Actually, no, I don't. Click away. To unequips. And now, if we press give, we can give it newbie, derpy, dev. Spelling is so hard. And confirm. Boom. And that's it. So that's basically everything you need to know for this tutorial. If you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe. All I can say is my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.